Welcome on pitoncvc.net. Today we are going to see how to use uh, a tool to batch rename views. But before we are going to just quickly remind how to update extensions from uh, PyRevit extensions. So if you installed PyRevit MEP from Extension Manager, then you just need to click on updates in the PyRevit tab here. Okay, now let's go. So the tool is available in PyRevit MEP tab. Let's say, for example, when you start a project, you need to create many views for many area of your work. So for example, we're going to create views for electricity, Hydraulic, ventilation, and panel plumbing. So you have many views to rename if you want to rename it uh, manually. So the tool will help you to rename it in a constant way and uh, programmatically so it batch rename all views when you click on the tool here you just have four parts in your GUI the first part is to for general option like uh, validate save uh, option save uh, configuration and uh, um, you can, for example, um, rename only selected views if you don't want to batch rename all views. It's probably the best, uh, the good thing to do because sometimes you just rename special view in a, in a way you don't want it to be changed. But at the beginning of a project, you can rename all views because you, it, sh it should not be the case. After, you can select if you want to rename all views, I mean uh, all view class, which are view plan, view 3D, and view section, or if you want to rename only specific uh, class of view. Uh, view 3D here is not available because there is currently no uh, 3D view in the project. If I add a 3D view and uh, launch again the tool. You can see that now 3D view is available. So uh, how it works, you have a string here composed of uh, different parts. For example, here it just called a parameter by, by its name because it is not a shared parameter and it is not a built-in par parameter neither. It's a gnome uh, made uh, parameter. So uh, the only way to retrieve it is by name. So format is name, parenthesis, parameter name, close parenthesis. Then you can add any separator before or after. I think any, any character should work because I used the uh, UTF-8, so maybe uh, you should probably be able to use it in any language, Chinese or uh, Russian or anything. Um, you can add anything between each parameter. For example, here I have the two letter with uh, two separator between. And here you have another kind of parameter, which is called by BIP, which is for built-in parameter. And you can also add uh, parameter by GUID with uh, this format. 
and as I just uh, showed you, uh, you can just add it from uh, the menu. You don't have to type it manually. Um, here you can see that uh, you have preview of the parameter you entered. So uh, here it is the, the preview with parameter names. And here it is preview with a sample view. So uh, in this case, it is this view. So uh, if I batch rename views, this view will be renamed with this name. I usually use a scope box. So uh, that's why here it is uh, aucune, which is uh, the French for known. And uh, here I add GUI, but uh, this parameter don't have a suitable value, so uh, it just return GUI uh, number. So make sure to use a parameter which have a suitable value. As you know, 3D, 3D views and uh, section views don't have the same parameter, so we need to have three different patterns for each kind of view class. When you are okay with your uh, pattern, you just select some views and uh, click OK, or click on all views in current project and click OK, and as you see, it's very quick. You can save your pattern in uh, your project, for example, if I modify it. This way and save it to parameter. It will just actually save it to a new parameter which is called PyRevit MEP viewer name patterns. Uh, all the three patterns are saved in uh, a string, uh, a dictionary like string. And uh, even if you see some strange character, it should work. As you can see, uh, it, it's okay. So, configuration is saved. So, if I uh, now relaunch the tool, get back your configuration and as you see there is no problem with characters uh, you just get back I think it's it is store as Unicode but uh, Revit shows something different I don't know exactly I, I tried to encode and decode but it didn't change a thing so maybe I'm missing something um, you can also save to config file, which is uh, actually PyRevit's uh, config file. Um, it's very useful for uh, to save your uh, main configuration, let's say your uh, office standard configuration to rename uh, views. And uh, for example, if you modify uh, parameter here, or if it is empty, then you just get back your default configuration from uh, your config file if uh, available and valid, or from uh, just the script which defined a default configuration. If you have any question, do not hesitate to comment, and uh, if you want to improve it, do not hesitate to send a pull request on GitHub.